Welcome back to my channel. This is Donnie and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. Today I am unboxing Dreamer Designs version 2.0. Now if you watched um, not too long ago, I actually posted a video of their, their original um, 1.0 version, I guess. And if you want to see that unboxing, you can find it up here in that eye just click the eye and you will have a link to that video but I do have that canvas here so we can do a little bit of comparison um, they did contact me after I had posted that video and said that the things that I had pointed out in that video were the things that they were looking to improve on in the new versions so without further ado let's get started the one thing that um, is unique about the Dreamer Design boxes is that they have this handle that comes on the top of them. So if you keep these boxes for any reason or if you keep your diamond painting in here while you're switching locations, that's a pretty neat feature to have. Um, I did see something about the new boxes had some shimmer two of them but it doesn't seem this one has it maybe it's something that was added a little later after this one was printed but this um, diamond painting here is called the winter cabin and here is a photo of what this one looks like So if you know me, if you've been watching my channel, you know probably the reason why I chose this image is because of how purple it is. I mean, it is a winter scene, so we've got snow and a lot of confetti. <laughs> At least that's what it appears to be from the image I saw on their website. And let's take a look. Now this is a 40 by 50. I think they only have like two different sizes. I don't know if that changed, um, but this one is a 40 by 50 and it's uh, $39.99. And already we can see a big difference. Uh, one of the changes. Everything is in this reusable bag. I do like it when these bags are used. I mean, I'm not sure what I would reuse it for, except to maybe carry around this particular diamond painting. Uh, I just couldn't imagine what I would use it for. I'm sure I could find something because it is a nice bag and I would hate to just toss it, but it does look like it might be recyclable or um, at least biodegradable. Or more biodegradable than the plastic bags and it comes with a nice pretty purple string closure it does have their dreamer design logo on the bag and the canvas is also wrapped in a pretty purple ribbon oh this is soft oh I like that that is really nice. So this is the toolkit. We'll open it up here in a second. Let's see what else we have in here. We've got our drills. And I do believe Dreamer Designs only does um, square. Square drills. So that is everything in this bag. So we'll look at the drills in a minute. Um, I'd like to start with the toolkit. And, oh man, this is so soft. Makes you want to cuddle with it, but it's a little tiny to cuddle. Um, okay, let's pull out the trays. All right, so we get two trays. They're the white trays, and they have the Dreamer Design logo on the bottom. Got one squishy. I, I believe there's a second one. And two. So it is purple because that it seems to be their signature color. And then we have two drill pins. 
and we have a pair of the sharp pointy tweezers and they do say dreamer designs on them so these are good for squares and uh, they don't work so well for rounds so it does make sense that they include them in their kits because they like I said I believe they only produce in square all right what else is in here we've got two containers of wax and again I say this just because some people just don't think or don't know that each of these little round pieces of wax they're covered on both sides with a covering so you will need to remove them before you start dipping your wax I actually had a first time um, diamond painter ask me why why it wasn't staying in the pen and that was because the wax was still on the top layer and they were trying to poke through it to get to the wax now, I don't know if okay this has it's the covering is kind of up the sides too so it's okay to leave one side on if it's gonna be at the bottom but you need to at least take the top piece off so that you can get to the wax so then you just take that peel it off and you put it back in I would prefer to take both ends off just because I like to be able to mush my wax all around inside the container because not only for my single drills I like to use it for my multi placers and it gets kind of difficult when you can't move it in directions to get to it for those bigger placers so there we go we get two of those and yes there is more oh there's even more than that we have a baggie filled with baggies and let's see this has 40 colors in it with one AB I'm just gonna count super fast see how many we have here And if you count this it's 27 so there isn't quite enough to kit this whole thing up but it is a good start so there's the baggies and then lastly but not leastly we have a row straightener a three placer and a six placer all right so let's put these things back in the bag and let's look at this canvas Ugh. this is definitely something you'll want to reuse whether it's just for wax or for all of your little pieces to your kit that you want to take with you but it is nice to keep the smaller things all together in one little spot all right let me move this out of the way and let's open up this canvas it feels like it might it's the same canvas that they had before um, yeah if it's a different canvas I can't tell the difference here is the original and um, it might look like it's a different type of material it does seem like it is less dense or it's more dense this time does it appear to you like that's a different type of canvas to me it does just by you know my visual on it let me move this one back out of the way we'll peek at it after I get a chance to look at this one um, they got that nice and tight I like though that they don't use tape or anything on it but I'm not sure that it really needed to be bound because this type of uh, canvas is not like the double-sided adhesive where you kind of need to tape it or else it won't stay rolled but 
this is one of the better type of canvases because of the fact that it doesn't take so much to flatten them, I don't think. But because it is poured glue, I'm going to roll it backwards so that I can get it to flatten. Because it is not completely self-flattening like I've seen other companies. But it is capable of being able to be rolled backwards because it is poured glue. And I'll go over that in a second. Oh, it comes on a foam roller as well. Okay, that's probably why it had the ribbon on it. So here is the canvas. Okay, it goes this direction. So this, the artist is Anne-Marie Bone that does this, that did this one. And here is the image. So this actually looks a little bit better than the one I saw online. They actually have a picture of the actual picture picture, which is what I showed you. And then they have a picture of the, I don't know if it's completed or um, if it's just the picture of the canvas with the, like this, because this is what it looked like to me. And one thing I noticed is on this there, it's really hard to tell that this right here is supposed to be a bridge. And I don't know how it's going to look once it's finished because that's going to actually, you know, be more telling than just looking at it without drills placed on it. And this up here in the trees, um, it's a little hard to tell that these are trees. I think it's just because this has a lot of detail to it and the size I just think the size might be too small to get all the detail in there because the, this other area where there's some color blocking, that looks very accurate to the original image. Um, again, here's the picture. There's the thumbnail of it. And then, but there's a lot of straight lines of color that you see with hand charting. I'm, I'm guessing that they hand chart. I'm not positive. Um, but this kind of looks, it kind of reminds me of something that's been hand charted. Uh, what else came in the middle was the instruction sheet there. Um, talking about, yeah, how to, how did diamond paint? and what the parts are that come in the kit. And it also has um, where you can find them on social media. All right, so this is also your key, which it doesn't have the thumbnail on it, but from what I understand, this is a sticker so that you can just cut it apart and use it on your kit up to kit up your project. This is a sticker. It's really hard to separate to be able to determine that it's a sticker. I'll give it a little bit more effort here. Looks like it's coming apart, but it looks like that's what this would be because I mean, what else would the, you know, it could be just a strip with, the key on it, but there we go. I got the backing off. It's very thin. The backing, it's a very thin backing, but there you go. That shows that it's a sticker, not the stickiest, at least from what I felt, but you know, you don't want your labels to be on there permanently because you know, you do swap them out and make new for a new one when you do a new kit. And now I can't get it off again. I was gonna actually test the sticky further down because I was just testing the very top there, but one way or the other, this is a sticker and that is what it would be good for. And yeah, it was, yeah, it's a light adhesive, not very um, super sticky, but 
it'll get the job done, hopefully, and then we'll, well, you can always put more tape on top of it if it needs it. So this has one AB color. It's number 40, which is the white square with a black circle in it. And it's pretty obvious um, how the ABs are coated on this is they put AB on it. And the rest are regular DMC numbers, regular symbols, and yep, 40 colors for this. All right, so let's see, where are we gonna find these ABs? Looks like right up here in this star, I think it is. Yeah, it's a star. And where else can we find it? A bit of mountain snow right here. Um, it looks like it's highlighting the snow on this big tree here. We got some O's going on. Down in this section, down here, a little bit on the roof of the cabin. Some more down here on the ground underneath where the tree is and it looks like that would be it yep I'm not seeing it anywhere else so there's just a few not a whole lot you know ABs are meant to highlight to just add a little extra sparkle in certain spots. They are not meant to be everywhere because things don't really look that great once when you do it everywhere. Uh, if you do an A, if you do ABs everywhere. All right, so definitely poured glue and you can see how super shiny that is. And we'll look at those symbols. Let's check the It's sticky, that's for sure. And what we're gonna do is look and see how clear the symbols are. And then we'll kind of pull out, I'll pull out the uh, first kit, the first uh, canvas that I unboxed from before 2.0. I'm not sure if they're calling them 1.0 or <laughs> originals or what, but let's look at this drill filled okay we'll look at it together all right so they're good and clear they have nice color in the background and we have nice white large symbols inside the squares and then we've got a very black symbols so that you can actually see them. They're not smudged or smeared. And going down. Nice pink areas. I'm not sure. But um, this is kind of different where they actually have the grid showing up around the squares. But on a square, it doesn't really matter because you're not going to see the background. If the drills fit right, then you're not going to see the background in between the drills anyway. But that just kind of helps so you can align them easier. Here, let me get you a little closer. A little too close? Okay. Yeah. So what I'm seeing is some very clear symbols. Um, uh, there's, I haven't seen anything so far that would be confused for something else, like two symbols that look alike. They've done a good job of keeping similar symbols away from each other or not on the key at all. Like I did see that they have a Z. But the Z that's on this, this canvas is 
Um, let's see. It's big and bold, and it's not like just a little letter inside of a box. It's a big green background with a huge white Z in the middle. That would not get mistaken. That will not get mistaken for a two at all. There is no way you would be able to mistake the two symbols. So that was done nicely. And here is where you can see the Z. It's not as, the white part of the Z is not as big and bold as the symbol looks. But it is still distinguishable between, see I was trying to go back to it. So there's the Z for the key. And... There's the Z here. So it does look a little different. The white isn't as big and bold as the symbol here on the key. But like I said, it's unmistakable what it is. And the only thing I would be concerned with confusing it as would be a two. And like if they had a five and an S. And I'm looking here to see, which they have a big S, another yellowish green color with black writing and let's see do they have a five I have a two a seven a I think those are the only numbers so there is no five to get it confused with right so so far so good um, the canvas is very bright the colors are nice and bright and the symbols are easy to read, legible, not blurry whatsoever. And so far the only thing I'm even thinking that could have maybe been done different or could have been improved is the, the bridge here is not looking like a bridge at all. And the trees back here don't really look like trees. It kind of looks like a cave. So I'm not sure how it will turn out until it actually is drilled. So at that point, I'll be able to um, either take that back or confirm that that's what it looks like before it's been drilled. So this is 2.0. And here we have 1.0 and they do have, both of them have the surged edges. So those are the same. Like I said, this material does seem different. And even from the front, you can see, and I don't know where that hair came, there's hair. And it must be my daughter. But you can see the difference in the canvas types. So I'm, I'm not sure if what the difference is as far as why, what their, what their reasoning for was, um, uh, why they would change it to this. There must be a reason for it. Um, so I gotta get this bubble out. It's bugging me. It's not a bubble in the glue. It's just a bubble from when I rolled it backwards and then cover kind of left a big pocket between the cover and the canvas. So as you could see in this one, the symbols, they're very light and they're really hard to read. Like those blue symbols there, I'm not quite sure if that's just a blue block. Let's see. Yeah, it is. They did the thing where there's no symbol in it. It's just a blue block. There was two different colors on here that did that. This one didn't have as many colors. Um, another thing I'm seeing that they did, their differences, on the new canvas, on their key, they have them numbered. 1 through 40, and this one you have to count them yourself, which isn't a deal breaker, but it is nice to be able to just look at this and say, Hey, okay, there's 40 colors. So that is just one of the differences. Um, this, 
new one, they are only putting the design size because that's really all that I care about is the design size because that's the part that's going to be uh, framed. The canvas size doesn't really matter. Um, so the fabric size, they do have the fabric size on here and then the design size, which not a big different big deal for the difference. Um, this thumbnail on this one is pretty, I don't know if it's the canvas type and that's why one of the reasons why they changed it, I don't know, but you can see how much more clear the thumbnail is on this one because the first one it actually you can see the canvas ridges from the canvas printed on there you can see that more than anything and it kind of makes it look pixelated because of that and let's see this one has all of their social media information on it up, up there and this one does not. Now, the biggest difference here on these, I think, I don't know if the canvas is the biggest difference, and maybe that is why they changed it, because of how hard it is to read some of these symbols and how they bleed into each other. Let's look. You would definitely need a light pad, and even at that point, it, it might be kind of hard to tell the difference between some symbols. Like right here, I have to get really, really close and it's still kind of, you can kind of tell now that there's L's and like some kind of triangle that's orange next to each other. It's really hard to tell that from far away. And that green symbol right there, I don't think that's a green block. I believe that is, yeah, because there's no green block. There's actually a symbol in, in there and see how hard it is to read and it goes throughout there's some symbols that are pretty easy to read like the blue block that's easy to read the number two i can read um see i don't know if that's an x or a y i believe it's a y oh yes because the x's are down here they're blue sorry about the glare but there are a lot of symbols that are hard to read on this. And then you go and look at this one and you can see the difference. Way better quality of the print. And I would definitely say there was a huge improvement on that because there is no mistaking things on this one. I can see them no problemo. So that is a huge difference, I think. And I'm seeing also that they kind of did the squares on the older one. There is actually a big difference. There's a lot the outline of the squares are a lot darker. If you can see here, let's see if we can look at that again. Yeah, see, they, they almost look like each square has a outline around it. And that can, can end up showing through if the drills are not perfectly up. Uh, uh, perfectly sized to fit the squares, then that's one thing you'll have is the showing through of the color. And if it's not the same color as the drill, it kind of leaves this linear type of image going on behind it, which, you know, nobody really wants that. I have actually something I'm doing that has that going on and I'm not really thrilled about it. Um, as you can see here, it's not a black lines or anything, but it's a round and you can see the grid lines on this. Now this was a freestyle type painting, so th it's not something someone printed. It was something I printed myself. And with rounds, you have that hi a higher chance of, of seeing through 
the cracks. But it can happen with squares as well if the drills are not perfectly aligned. Now let's look at the drills. I don't have the drills handy for the older kit, but it was it was basically the canvas that I saw there was issues. So I'm not going to go try and find those drills to compare them. We will just look at these new ones. All right. So first of all, we see that it is labeled the Winter Cab B, which is, I'm sure, short for Winter Cabin. And these packets of drills are large. And it's, they're nice and clear on one side so you can see the contents of the bag. And you can check your quality. I do like the purple strip. Nice and bold where you can read the canvas number and the DMC number and looking at the drills I'm not seeing any kind of the dents that you can get on rounds and squares sometimes when they I don't know what causes it but I've been dealing with a lot of those drills lately that have there's like a little dimple in the bottom and these do not have them you know you can see there is a piece of garbage or two, um, like this one right there. It's concave, but that does happen. One in a million or one in a hundred thousand, and you know, you're going to have garbage, little extra plastic pieces. So, but the quality of the drill themselves that you're going to be laying down. Um, they look good so far. Well, I've looked at one packet, but I'm looking here. Oh, I love that blue. This is that teal color. It's so beautiful. And then the aquas. And here's a real, a darker teal. And here's some more colors. So it says 40 colors, but I'm seeing there's a few of them that just have a few colors that just have a few drills, so it's not going to be a lot, a ton of color switching for me. Oh, wow. What is that? Oh, that's an interesting uh, hitchhiker. What we got there? I have no idea what that is. It looks like a drill that got melted. Um, and then there's a peach. See, there's just a little bit. And here's our AB color. For those that do not know what AB is, it stands for Aurora Borealis because it, it represents, it kind of looks like the Northern Lights. And it's a coating that they put on the drills that just gives it an extra sparkle in those spots that want to be highlighted. And you can see that coating really clearly in this image here. And ABs on square have not been in circulation too super long. I think it's might be about a year now, if I'm remembering right, that um, we started seeing them in, in diamond art kits. And I like to see it a little bit more because back in the day, it's like ABs only came on round and it was impossible, so they thought, to make ABs on squares, but now they can, and that's awesome because square needs a little bit of AB love too. And ooh, we got a little hitchhiker in there, a couple of them, well, two different colors. But this is a really big bag of blue, so it's going to be probably one of our background colors, obviously, because most of this is background because it's a landscape. And here's another, like, Tealish color. I love these colors. And the the sparkle is just awesome. I mean, it's just amazing. You can see the sparkle through the bags. 
I think the quality is right up there. And there's another blue. Hard to see. I'm sorry. And another one. See, these have just small amounts in them. So, you know, it did look like there was a bit of color blocking, um, a bit of, of uh, confetti as well. But like I said, the confetti is not going to be too bad because th there's not very much of the smaller amounts. See, there we go. Here's another one. And then a big bag of purple. All my favorite colors. There's big bags of, and that's why I chose this image. Because it had the purple. And here's a lot more purples going on. Look at that. Uh, okay, yeah, those are different colors. I wasn't sure if there's two bags of one color. But so far, it looks like there's only been like one bag of each color. Uh, this is number six. Yeah, these go by number. And more purples. And here is my favorite 550, and there's only a few of them. So sad. And then we get into, yeah, these 7, 96, 97, and 98. All really pretty blues. We got this mint color. See, these two are really similar, but they are different numbers. And then we've got more bags of just small amounts. Some oranges. Greens. So yeah, the majority of the colors are purple and blue. The drills look awesome. I mean, they look really good. And let's look at it one last time. What I was saying... There's a lot of color blocking up here in the sky, um, all the way up, even up here. Um, even, but some of the color blocking is in short spurts, but it is a lot more color blocking than I think there is confetti because we still get the color blocking throughout here in lines. The only place I see really a lot of confetti is going to be the tree um then this area down here where the flowers are but still we still have some color blocking areas throughout it so this is i'd say this is a 50 50 color blocking and confetti image so best of both worlds for those that love one or the other well my conclusion is that Dreamer Designs 2.0 is much better than 1.0 or the original, whatever we want to call the originals. Um, it, I should have, you know, thought it would have been nice to see this is a new image. They did not have it before. I would have liked to have seen this one in the original, but this was not available then, or I would have chose that to begin with. And then I would have chose the same one so I could legitimately compare side by side the exact same image but um that wasn't possible and i i do love this image i love love it this is actually something that would probably go on the wall in my kitchen or in my living room um and now let's just see if i can find the time to get it done tell me guys um what you think of the new uh, Dreamer Designs 2.0. Um, have you already ordered something and had one before and you were able to compare yourself? Have you started working on one? Let me know what your experience is so far. I would love to hear. And I will be watching and reading the comments because I always do. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. So have fun diamond painting and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.